it's Amy. Amy is in the kitchen today again for you. So today we have a recipe for the stage three, which is the puree diet. But I will give you some also different options that you can use the same recipe for after stage five as well. So we are gonna do avocado and cheese puree for the stage three today. And I will start to make my egg ready in the meantime. So I will actually boil one egg in a pan. And I have already like heated water here. Yes, be careful while you're doing it, not like me. So I will put some salt. It's like a good trick. So while you're boiling egg, if you put some like salt in the meantime, so it will actually keep protecting the egg from like burst. Okay, while my egg is just trying to boil here, I will actually continue with my cheese. So as you know that stage three is totally seamlessly puree diet, but also you can use robot to do the mixture for your recipes, but also you can do by meshing with a fork too. So today fork will help me to prepare my recipe. So I have some cheese here. But my cheese is so soft. Sometimes my patients are asking me for like hard and more salted cheese. So if you keep waiting your cheese in the water for like a night, it will help you to actually dry out from the salt and also it will help you to uh, make it more softened. So you can use for your recipe that way to easily uh, by mashing it. So as you can see, it's too soft and it's not like hard for me to make it ready. I will put another one. We just need to make sure that it's puree well. And then I will add my avocado. So that's the easy way for me to make it ready. I always use spoon to make it easily out. And as you know that avocado is good fat, so it helps you also when you have constipation, like olive oil, to soften your feces when you have constipation problem. And it also increases the movements in the bowel system. And if you don't want to waste your avocado, you can also use this as a mask for your face to moisture it. So my avocados are well ripped, so this is why I can do this mash easily. I will add when my egg is like boiled harder. As I said, if you feel it's difficult for you to make it ready, you can also use robots to make it more like a puree for you because sometimes some of our patients say that it's difficult for them to even eating that much thickness. So you can add some olive oil to make it more like soft and creamy or you can do the thing the way that I do as well. So it's good enough for me for now. And again, after stage three, you can start to use also some flax seeds too for your diet. But when you use flax seeds, they're like, as you can see, like big uh, particles. So you have to mesh them to small pieces to make it ready. And I'm just trying to mesh as much as I can for this recipe as well. Just a little bit is good enough, just one pinch is okay for ourselves for this diet. I will just put one pinch. So this will give you also omega-3 with which is good fat source. Yes, so this is how it looks like in terms of our like uh, puree. So I can show you the consistency, but as I said, if you feel it's too thick for you to consume that way, you can also mix with the robot as well. So while this is waiting here, I will be checking my egg. So it started to give me some bubbles inside. So to make sure that it's hardly boiled, you have to wait eight minutes after this is like giving you some bubbles inside. Okay, so we are gonna wait for eight minutes and then I will be back. Okay, so my egg is ready. Now I will just make it just... So it's always like good trick to wait for eight minutes after you see the bubbles on the top. Otherwise, it's not going to be boiled hard enough. So as you can see, it's well good. Hard. So I will start by just cutting to small pieces. The small cubes is okay because 
it doesn't matter how well you cut it because I will mesh it in the puree now. So how much small you make it matters and it's more easy for you to mash in the avocado. Okay, so now it's time for actually to mesh it well. And I'm using my fork again, I'm telling you if it's not good and if it's not well mashed for you, you can blend it and make it more creamy and you can add more like olive oil. Since I use avocado, since I use also some flax seeds, I didn't want to add some olive oil because I still have omega-3 inside, but you can do it too. I know the amount looks too much for you. I'm just preparing it to use for two days because since all the ingredients are cooked, nothing wrong to keep it for two days. So if you put olive oil, so you can actually help your avocado to not, not get dark for the next day as well. So my puree is ready now. In. So I will just sprinkle some like flax seeds on top to make it more fancy look. Now our puree with avocado and cheese is uh, with the egg is ready. So you will be actually getting good enough protein, good enough uh, vitamins and minerals, some fiber and healthy fats in this recipe. And it will help you when you have, as I said, constipation problems and you can pour some olive oil on top as well. For the stage three, everything should be like puree consistency, but also all your meals should include some protein source inside with the healthy fat sources. So that's the only way to get actually enough protein to cover your needs, but also enough fiber and fat to cover your uh, bowel system needs. So it's time for me to taste our recipe a little bit. So let's see how it tastes. Mmm. Yeah, it's a little bit sore, but also because of the cheese. But it's also good salty. Again, it's because of that too. But it's also creamy with avocado taste. It's well balanced in terms of nutrients, but also the taste. That's great. So to have more recipes like this, please not to forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and also not to forget to follow us. That way you can see more recipes like these. Bye!